Hello and welcome everyone to this quick little tutorial in which I'll show you how to set up the bridge between Hedge and Scratch. Now many of you are probably already using Hedge. Uh, for those who don't know what Hedge is, it is a tool for offload and backup. So whenever you're on set, being the DIT, and you need to copy the media from the camera cards to multiple destinations, you can use Hedge for that because it does that amazingly fast and it of course also creates all the necessary checksums, MHLs and what have you more. And as of recently, because our friends at Hedge have been hard at work, Hedge features an integration with Scratch where after a successful backup, Hedge will create a timeline inside your uh, Scratch project and populate it with the media from a user-defined backup location. So let me show you how you set up that bridge because it eliminates yeah, around about a zillion clicks in the life of a DIT. So on the scratch side, let's go to system settings and here in the general tab, let's make sure that the watch folder is active like so. And that's pretty much all you have to do on the scratch side. So let's exit scratch for a second and look at hedge. Hedge is a very simple, very straightforward to use tool. Uh, on the left you have your sources, on the right you have destinations. So let me first drag the shuttle drive, which is going to the production company as a destination. And in here on my internal rate, I've created a folder target one. I'll drag that in here as well. And the source is my camera card A004 at this time. Let's drag that over into sources. Okay. And now before we transfer, anything let's go to the preferences to the integrations tab here and select scratch the integration is already enabled over here and now we just have to tell hedge hey uh, from which destination it should import the footage into scratch and this will be the internal rate of course Add clips that match file extension well we are copying red raw footage so the extension to consider for import is R3D. The project, uh, well, let's actually quickly open Scratch right out of Edge. Our project is Firefly Season 2. Let's enter that. I'll tap back in here. Project Firefly Season 2. By now we're at day 3, so let's change that here as well and leave the timeline name to source name that's a wild card here in hedge okay let's close that and let's start the transfers here we go all right and if we now check back into our scratch project you can see that the project name turned blue and also the project refresh button turned blue indicating that hey there is something new, press me. So let's do that. Here we go. And as you can see, the A004 timeline just magically appeared here with all the clips populated, which we can now, of course, shuttle through and check and of course also render out if we need to. Okay, let's take a quick look into the target folder that we created because inside here you can find the MHL files with the backup folder and also transfer logs which contain a whole bunch of information that might be useful later on in the pipeline. Now in case uh, the bridge doesn't work as expected there's an easy way to troubleshoot. So let me quickly move my destinations here set this back to unused okay and drop it right back in as a source and now pull in target 2 as the target folder okay something like this and if I now start the transfer I'll open up another folder this is the uh, watch folder that I set up inside Scratch. And once the transfer is completed, you will see that Hedge puts an XML in here. And Scratch, if it is running, will process this XML. 
So the first thing you can check with Scratch being closed is whether this XML makes it into this folder. If it doesn't, then probably you have made a mistake here in the destination setting in the Scratch integration dialog. If it does, however, then you should check whether the project name or the file extension, etc. match with what you want. But the first thing to check is whether there is an XML here in this folder. And it's important that you check this while Scratch is closed. Because as soon as I start it, let me do that real quick, this XML will be gone because Scratch will process it and then delete it. And as you can see in my project, Firefly Season 2, it has a little message here, XML commands pending. Right, so if I enter my project, well, now the clips have been imported twice into my timeline A004. All right, I hope this tutorial was useful to you and uh, see you next time, bye.